harsh cold that is hovering over much of the nation could hurt your garden. Here with some tips on how to protect your landscape is our brand new early show contributor, gardening guru, Ahmed Hassan. Good morning. Good morning. And certainly in some parts of the country, look at he's got his this hand warmer. Self protected. <laughs> in some parts of the country, it's too late. I yeah. checked the weather yesterday in Chicago. It this was zero. There's not too much you can do to be protecting your plants, but there's some places like we pray. Uh, well, in Miami or even Dallas, it's down in the yeah. 20s. What should can folks still do if they're concerned about some of their their planting? You know what? You're right. We are late in, in a whole lot of instances. So let's start with. If you were, had known what you would have done uh -huh. was you would try and cover up your plants. Right. Now you can use burlap material mm -hmm. in the winter time. The home improvement stores love it because they're selling all sorts of just fabric that sure. people are taking outside. Right. They're draping it over their plant. Yeah. They're trying to just hold any amount of warmth inside that plant. Now sure. if you're going to use plastic, of course, yeah. you want to put plastic on in the afternoon because you can get some of that daytime heat. You know, don't you feel all this heat we're getting in the daytime? Uh, yeah. And then you can wrap, <laughs> you can wrap it in plastic. Right. And then, but you don't want to leave it there during the daytime. You got to take it off. Let it get some ambient heat. You know, heat. back in the day. Radiate. We used to rake the leaves up on some of the plants. We still do that. Bushel baskets over Absolutely. the top of them. That so work? let's talk about that. Okay. Because what, we're, what you're basically talking about is using organic insulation, oh, okay. aka mulch. Mulch. So you can take the mulch and put it over the base of the plants. You know, it does help to protect the roots because after all, what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep the plant alive. Right. So if you're going to lose the tops, let the tops go. Yeah. Salvage the roots because the roots are going to put you up a new top anyway. Okay, all right. So make sure you mulch into those places where it's, the ground is not absolutely frozen solid. No, no bare soil. You've got to make sure you, you keep watering, yes. right? And see, everybody, they, they want to stop watering because they say, hey, it's wintertime, we don't need to water. Yeah. If, if you don't put enough water there in the soil, okay, a film of water will freeze faster than a whole lot of water in your soil. Right. Keep your soil wet. Right. Keep the water off the foliage. There there you go. Okay. All right. You know what? I was uh, in New Jersey yesterday and I saw people taking down their Christmas lights. Yeah. And you, if you organized. really want to preserve your plants, it may not be a pretty good idea to keep them on there, it's, right? You know, if, if you need an excuse because you don't have time to take them down, <laughs> you can say, yeah, I was trying to keep my plants from freezing, but really, the bigger the bulb, the better. These right. are so small, they don't really cast much. Right. They don't put off much warmth. But the old-fashioned ones. The old-fashioned ones, those put off some heat, and then you throw a blanket on top of that, right. your, your yard, you'll look like a hillbilly lives there, <laughs> but your plants will be alive. But your plants will be alive. All right. And in previous these, years. These guys, what do we do with these the, this time of year? The reason I brought those here is because I want to tell you don't go out there and start cutting off the dead and the damaged plant material. Right. Because even, even dead leaves that are hanging onto a plant right. are gonna be as much insulation as this burlap is, and they're already there. So leave the dead foliage on there. I know it's it looks part bad. of the purpose of the seasonal change, yeah. right? Yeah. No, that stuff is gonna die, it's gonna hang up there. It is. If you're gonna prune, prune in the spring, See, you're or a prune philosopher in the fall. like me. Yeah. yeah. It's the dead plants are the purpose back there. Yeah, you wanna leave them on there because they do actually add some warmth to it. Keep your soil wet, and then you just wait. And that's why it's also good, don't go pruning into winter. Let your plants grow full, lush, and bountiful, right. and then come springtime, then you can do slash and burn, you get brand new stuff coming. There you go. Thanks so much, very much. Right. Welcome aboard. Very thank you, good. Thank you. Thank you.